Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara Sapp. I am a licensed esthetician and today I'm showing you guys my portable sink. So if you watched my other video, then you know that I work out of a office space. That's where I have my studio set up. And of course, office spaces do not come with sinks. So I wanted a sink in my room, of course, right next door to me is the bathroom. There's a sink in there, but I wanted a sink right in my room for easy access. So I got this sink on eBay for I think about seven or eight hundred dollars and I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour of it it is pretty cool so let's get right into the video don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel okay y'all so this is just a quick overview of my sink it looks like a regular sink pretty much um you have hot and cold water the drain and then you have these two doors on it and I thought about putting contact paper on it, just, I don't know, to make it a different color, but for now it works. So in here, and I have some stuff stored over there, but the hot and cold water plug up here and then the whole system plugs into the wall. This is the clean water, so you fill this up. I believe it, don't quote me on this, y'all. I think it holds five gallons of water, but you put the, the fresh water in here. So what I do is I usually just buy big jugs big gallons of water from like target and i put it in here it doesn't have to be like a specific type of water it doesn't have to be like this so i can't talk it doesn't have to be like distilled water or purified water or anything like that just clean water this is the wastewater so when you turn the sink on the water comes through the little tubing and it comes out of the sink and then the wastewater goes down the drain and it goes out into this thing right here you do have to dump this every so often i try to dump it on like a weekly basis because if i let it get really full then it's so heavy and i could barely carry it and then i think this thing is just like the water heater which heats the water the water does come out at a good flow it's not just like drizzling out it's like a good regular flow i'll show you guys and it does get really hot on this little water heater there is a thermostat thingy you can see that where you can adjust how hot you want it i keep it in the middle and it does have like a loud buzzing sound to it so i don't use it when i have clients in my room i kind of just do what i need to do right before the client comes in especially like if it's a facial you don't want anything loud going on startling your client so i'm going to turn it on let you guys hear what it sounds like and show you the flow of the water <sighs> the doors and let you guys hear what it sounds like not much of a difference i'm gonna use the cold water this time and that water is at the highest level that it will come out so that's how it sounds that's the water pressure and then you can hear it draining into the wastewater and whenever you get ready to dump this you just kind of pull it out I need to dump it now, it's getting heavy. You untwist this. I always wear gloves when I'm doing this because I don't want dirty water on me. But you untwist this, take this little tubing out of it, and then you just go dump it. And then whenever you get ready to fill this, you just unscrew this here. Lift it up, pour the clean water in. And then if I'm gonna be gone for a while from my studio, I just turn the whole thing off, the whole system. So I just click that down and then click that off. I don't unplug it from the wall, but I just do it like that when I'm gonna be away from it for a while. And it does have a little bit of counter space, so that's good. Keep my disinfectant there. I have room for my soil tools. Before I get ready to wash them myself so it is a decent thing definitely worth the money okay so this is me standing totally straight up you see the sink comes I guess like waist a little bit higher than my waist and I'm short I'm five feet so it's a good height so it's a good size not too wide not too big just the right 
um i'm gonna leave the link to this sink in the comments down below like i said i got it from ebay brand new sink about seven or eight hundred dollars um decent customer service i had no issues or anything like that definitely let me know if you have any questions and i will try to answer all of your questions and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching